Hello and welcome back to X-Plane 11 for part two of the startup from Cold and Dark of the 737-800 by Zebo. Um, last time out we went through this one, this one and this one on the checklist. Today we're going to be continuing with the first officer's pre-flight and a little bit more setup uh, outside of these checklists before going through the whole procedure for before start um, and all the rest of the uh, bits. I called this the EFIS panel, didn't I? This is the MCP. This is the MCP. Never mind. Anyway. Um, it's a mistake of mine. I suppose they... Yeah. Anyway, let's move on from that uh, to the intro. Alright, uh, mistakes aside, let's get on with the first officer pre-flight procedure. So this pre-flight procedure is going to be essentially taken from this side. Um, yes, it would be this side, wouldn't it? Yep, so pilot's normally on that side. So what we're going to do, flight control panel check, yep. Navigation panel set, display panel set. We've actually done this, uh, so we're okay with this. Fuel panel set electrical panel set. We're going to actually start going through these uh, in a moment. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to do fire protection panel right here. So we're going to double check this. There we go. Just to make sure that those work. And we'll check these as well. They are okay. Fantastic. So that's all working now. What I'm going to do so I'm going to start getting these panels up here ready to go as it says on this. So all these panels I'm going to start getting ready to go. So first of all, your damper can go on. Fuel pumps are going to be as needed. We're about to switch one on very soon. Ground power switch is going to go off shortly, but not just yet. Uh, engine generator switches must be off, which they are. Window heat uh, is going to go on in a little while. Uh, yeah, that'll go on in a little while. In fact, it's probably somewhere on this, isn't it? Yep, there it is. So that will go on in a little while, uh, as will all the other bits and bobs. We've got to make sure that these electrical pumps are off and the engine pumps are on. That's fine. Uh, trim air. Trim air can go on. We need to make sure that that is on, I think. Uh, we're going to make sure that these ones are all set. That's not a problem. Recirculation fans are on automatic and the packs are on automatic there. Isolation valve can be opened. Um, engine bleed switches we want on at the moment. In fact, we want them all to go on. We should have a dual bleed come up like that, but that's not going to be a problem for us. Pressurization panel we can have to set to automatic, uh, which it is. So that's okay, we're not going to worry about that. Flight altitude today is only going to be 2,000 feet. Uh, landing altitude, I have not got a clue. Um, zero, apparently. Apparently the landing altitude is zero. ATIS we've already obtained, that's down there. Oops. Like that, we've already got ATIS and the FMC has been programmed. And the flight director and everything uh, has, been, has been done on the... Uh, MCP, what's the master, master caution about? I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll come back to that. Right, APU as needed. Let's start the APU up and start getting this going. So, for the APU, we need to give it some fuel. So, I'm going to switch on that tank there. That's the tank I like to switch on. And we'll put that into start. And you'll see the exhaust gas temperature go up uh, in a moment. So, whilst we're uh, waiting for that, we're going to check equipment cooling to make sure that that is normal. Uh, that is over here. Equipment cooling is on normal. That's absolutely fine. We will check that out. Uh, emergency exit lights are closed. Yes, they are. So the guard is shut. Passenger signs can now be set. Uh, so you can see that that's gone up. We're going to wait for that to come back down around 400 degrees. Uh, I wouldn't be stand. I wouldn't want to be standing behind that. At this point in time, I should probably put the anti-collision lights on as well. But I'll wait for a moment. Put that like that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, let's see. Windshield wipers are in park. Yep, the windscreen wipers are both in park, right and left. And uh, now we're going to go window heat on, probe heat on, but we're going to actually wait for the APU first. So we're going to wait for this blue light to come on here. 
letting us know that we can take power from the APU. We're going to do that. Then we're going to get rid of these uh, window heats. There we go. Perfect. That's now on. We can now get rid of ground power. Uh, first of all, let's make sure it's working. Yes, it is 114 volts. We'll now get rid of ground power. And we will go ahead and disconnect our ground services. Disconnect the GPU. There we go. That's gone. Back into our checklist. Where were we? First officer. Okay. Uh, window heat can go on. So that's uh, this one up here. One, two, three three four we can check the overheats as well yep the overheat does work for us fantastic okay pro heats are off that's fine engine anti-ice and wing anti-ice are off hydraulic panels are pretty much set now air conditioning panels are set as well um let's see yeah everything is set there that seems okay uh, cabin pressurization panel is done. Lighting panel is done. Ignition select left or right. We're going for right first. It engine starts to auto. Yes, it is on both of the uh, switches. Mode control panel. Yeah, we're, we've done that. EFIS control panel set. Oxygen testing set yet. Yeah, clock is fine. Display select is fine. All the lights on this side are off, so we can make sure that that's done. That's done. Uh, we are going to test this side's lights. Yes, working, and yes, working. Good. So those can be checked. Flight instruments are checked. Absolutely fine over here. All the instruments are correct. Everything seems to be on and running. Ground proximity panel right there. Everything is shut. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run a test here of the GPWS. There we go. So we're just going to wait for that to go through. Terrain. Whilst Terrain. that's happening, landing gear panel set. Yep, everything is okay. That is down. Those lights are on. Not a problem. That's set. That's tested. Great. Auto brake select can now go to RTO. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, then we're going to go make sure that the anti-skid light, which is that one right there, is extinguished. So we've got no flags now. If I do a recall, we've got a few things about overhead air conditioning, which is interesting. Uh, that's probably because of the dual bleed, actually. Uh, APU, that can go off. There we go, that's the air conditioning gone. Uh, let's try again. Something about the overhead hydraulics, yep. Of course, the hydraulics aren't yet on. Uh, we are going to switch those on in a few seconds, I think. Let's go to that. Uh, yep, this is fine. Engine display controls are right there. So they're showing like that. Uh, engine instruments check. Yep, cargo fire panel. So we need to check uh, this one here, I guess. There we go. Those work. And of course, uh, we have checked this already, haven't we? Yes, we have. So there we go. That's all good. The radio's already done, audio control panel's done, ADF we don't need, weather radar panel we're going to sort out afterwards, transponder panel we're going to set up uh, 4202 today, and we're currently in standby, so that's fine. Stabilizer trim is closed, that's closed right there, the guard, and then that, that and that is done. That's the pre-flight for the first officer complete. Now we're going for the before start checklist. Flight deck door is closed and locked. We've done that. CDU display has been set. That's not a problem. N1 bugs are checked. Uh, we are up. Yep, correct. 94.3. Uh, IAS bug is fine. Now up on the MCP, not the EFIS, the MCP. Uh, auto throttle needs to be armed like so. Uh, we're also going to switch on flight directors at this point then. Not that we really need them, but I am going to switch on flight directors. Uh, IA, IAS, so the speed or the mark speed, is set to V2, which is 125. That's checked. Um, LNAV can be armed if needed. We don't need it. Initial heading is 220. We've set that. Initial altitude is going to be 3000. That's set for the before start. A few other things that we need to check. Make sure things are all okay. Stabilizer trim is done. That's all done. 
Let's make sure that we've tested the um, transponder. In test. And let's do a... Yep, Adjust there we go. Vertical speed. Adjust. Climb. Climb now. Climb. Climb now. Climb. Crossing. Climb. Climb. Crossing. Climb. 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 Clear of conflict. Descend. 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 Crossing. Descend. Descend, crossing, descend, descend, descend now, descend, descend now, increase, climb, increase, climb, increase, descent, increase, descent, maintain vertical speed, maintain, maintain vertical speed, crossing, maintain, monitor vertical speed, TCAS test, pass. Okay, there we go. There's the test. That's passed. Okay, we'll put that back to standby. Everything else is pretty good. I think we are good to go, ready for uh, before start. Um, yes, I know about the anti... Why is it warning me about the anti-ice? It's off. Should be okay, shouldn't it? It should be okay. Do I need to put the probe heats on? Hold on. Uh, no, I shouldn't have to put probe heat on right now. Okay, next up, before start or pushback. So we've done the transponder, that's fine. Uh, we've done that. We're not actually doing the pushback, so make sure that's pulled. Hydraulic pumps can now all go on. Here we go. There we go. Now this shouldn't be warning us about hydraulic pumps anymore. Yep. It does still warn us about anti-ice for some reason. Uh, I'll have to have a look at that. It's probably because of these probe heats. There's a test for that. Uh, right. That's gone. That's fine. Uh, 2800. Now to look at the pressure on this, I think we just go to system. There you go. So 2840 and 2810. Uh, we can also check the flight right here. So there's the rudder, ailerons, elevator. So that's great. That's working out for us. Uh, okay, the quantity in uh, tank B is slightly lower, which is uh, kind of interesting. But it's still well within range. So that's good. Now we're going to go for engine start. Now I swear we need to put uh, we need to put the probe heats on already. So I'm going to put the probe heats on now. There we go. That's better. I am going to put those on. I think now it's just warning me something on the overhead panel's not quite right. Uh. Let's have a look. Oh, probably these. Okay, so before start, we're going to make sure that the cabin and cargo doors are closed. They are. We're going to make sure seatbelt signs are on, like that. Uh, GPU's been disconnected. That's fine. We're going to switch on all the fuel pumps, like so. Maybe it's... No, it's still warning me about something on the overhead. I wonder what I've got wrong. Hmm. I'll have to have a look. I will have to have a look. Maybe it's these probably is that uh, so that's on we don't need we don't have any center pump so we don't need to switch those on uh, packs are going to go off and of course the anti-collision light has to go on as well so let's switch the packs off like that and like that ah hang on a second I know what it is yes I know what it was it's that air conditioning yep the packs are off don't worry about it I wonder if that will stop warning us. No, it's still got something about the overhead. Uh, anyway, packs can go off like so. Uh, start sequence, we're going to start the right engine first. Then we're going to start the left engine. Beacon light can now go on. So that's this anti-collision light there. If we take a look outside, you'll see now that we've got the red flashing light on it as well. As well as those lights there. And of course, our logo light. So there we have it. Engine is clearly off at the moment. Both engines are off, but you can hear the APU running in the uh, in the background. So you can hear the APU. Yeah, that's what that's what it was. It was that APU bleed that was wrong. Um, right. So make sure you keep that APU bleed on. Uh, I forgot to switch it on again. Okay. So here we go. We're going to. Right. I know how to do this, so let's not worry about these. I'm just going to tick this all. So all we need to do to start the engines is we need to go from this one. So whichever one was selected. So this is the right one. We're going to go to ground. You're going to start seeing. If we go to engine on this, you're going to start seeing 
some rotation happening. When that gets to 25, we are going to start putting in fuel. So we're going to go from cutoff to idle. We're going to have fuel put in. You can hear the engine starting. So that's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Give it some fuel. If we go outside, there you go. That's one engine started. And we'll hear this click. Once it's done, it should be around 56%. It will click. There it is. And now we can swap this over and start the other engine. And the exact same thing happens. Now, probably it goes on then. That's when it goes on. Maybe that's why I've got. That's a mistake. Right, okay. Zip it. All right, 19, 20, 21, 24, there's 25. Get some fuel going in, and you'll see that start rotating. And we'll see the N1 coming up. Fantastic. Okay, so we're just going to wait for that to, uh, that stop valve to close up. It says here, stop valve open, as you can see. We're going to wait for that to go out. That was a stop valve out, I think. Yep, that's a stop valve out. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go generators. We need to get this on the engine. So if we were to swap this over to Gen 1, you can see that we've got power available. Let's go use it. There we go. These can be off. We've done that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, right... What should we do now? Probe heat. Let's switch the probe heat on. There we go. Switch that on. Wing anti-ice we don't need. Engine anti-ice we don't need. Pack switches can go to automatic. Isolation valve can go to automatic. Like that. APU bleed switch can go off. Uh, and then the start switches need to go to continuous. So we'll go APU bleed off. Like so. Start switches over to continuous. Like so. Start levers are in idle, both of them is confirmed, or both of them are confirmed. Ground equipment is cleared, there's nothing there. Set takeoff flaps, so we're going to set takeoff flaps now. Flaps 5. So you can see that the leading edge flaps are now extended. And you'll see that go around and stop at 5. Perfect. Now we can go back to systems, make sure that all the systems are working. They are perfect. That feels good. Back to engine. And then we're going to blank out the lower display unit. There we go. That's now blanked out. That's absolutely fine. We are now ready for... Hello. Uh, we are now ready for the... Not before taxi. We're now ready for a taxi. Or taxi and takeoff. So here we go, that is now an aircraft ready to go. Right, I don't I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Look at that. That aircraft is now ready to go. So the only thing we need to now really do is start switching on some lighting. So we can either switch on these lights, for example, or you can switch on uh, that light over there. Let's see. AFDS, not EFIS. There we go. That's what that, that one's called. The MCP is called that. Uh, right, so you can always switch on those, or you can switch on, you know, these. Which doesn't look too bad, does it? There we go. Right now, that doesn't look too bad. Brighten these up. Uh, we don't really need that floodlight. We'll switch on circuit breaker lights and the panel lights here and we will switch off the dome light and there you have it this aircraft is ready to fly so we've gone from completely cold and dark to ready to fly in two videos it's taken yes it's taken about 40 minutes to start this aircraft up 
but that's not too bad considering I was going through this and explaining things as opposed to just uh, clicking everything all over the place so what do you need to do now well getting ready to taxi so we switch on these lights there we go and that's where I'm going to end this video thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on X-Plane 11 especially with the Zebo mod because I really really like it um, don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. I would really, really appreciate your support. Uh, and of course, leave comments letting me know what you think. Again, I'm going to point out I am not a pilot, therefore I may have made a few mistakes. But I'm fairly sure I got 95% of... Why did that switch off? I've got 95% of things correct. Um, but, you know, if I've made a mistake... What's going on here? I don't know what's going on. If I have made a mistake, please do let me know. Um, of course, there are things that I still have to learn. Uh, aside from that, uh, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ecgadget. And you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. Next time out, I'll uh, probably switch this into daytime so that... Uh, well, we don't need it looking this nice now. Or maybe a sunrise or something. And we are going to take to the skies and uh, give this a bit of a flight. I want to see what it's like to fly. Uh, maybe we'll do a circuit around Amsterdam or perhaps uh, another airport. We shall have to see. That's all from me. And I'll see you guys next time in X-Plane 11.